Give us the freedom intended for us by Frederick Douglass. The abolition of American slavery was the first step toward the establishment of a true democracy in our land. But our work is not finished. The chains that bind the hands of the freedmen are broken, but the chains that bind his progress toward full citizenship are still there. We are not yet free. We are not yet at home in this land. The promise of freedom is only partially fulfilled. What we ask, what we demand, is simple justice. We want the freedom that was intended for us. We are not content to be free in name, while denied the rights and privileges that belong to free men. We fought for this country, and our blood has been spilled in its defense. We deserve, and we demand, the same rights as every other citizen. Let us have the ballot, the right to vote. Let us have access to the courts. Let us have a fair chance in the battle of life. Give us the tools and we will do the work. We do not ask for special favors. We do not ask for charity. We only ask for what is justly ours. Let us stand or fall by our own merit, but do not deny us the opportunity to prove our worth. We have waited long and patiently for our rights. We have been loyal to this country in its hour of need. We now ask that it be loyal to us. The time has come for this nation to rise above its past. The time has come to give us the freedom intended for us, the freedom for which our fathers fought and died. This speech was delivered in 1865, after the Civil War ended and the 13th Amendment was passed, abolishing slavery in the United States. Frederick Douglass was a very important person in American history. He was born into slavery around 1818, but he escaped to freedom when he was about 20 years old. After escaping, he became a famous speaker, writer, and leader in the fight to end slavery. Frederick Douglass escaped from slavery in Maryland by disguising himself as a sailor and traveling north to freedom. He was an amazing speaker. He traveled all over the country and even to Europe to talk about the horrors of slavery and why it needed to end. He wrote several books about his life as a slave and his escape to freedom. His most famous book is called Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, An American Slave. This book helped people understand how terrible slavery was. He fought for equal rights. After slavery ended, Douglass continued to fight for the rights of black people and women. He believed everyone should be treated equally. In 1872, Frederick Douglass was nominated for Vice President of the United States. People recognized his importance as a leader. Frederick Douglass spent his whole life working to make sure that everyone in America could be free and treated fairly. He is remembered as one of the greatest Americans who ever lived because of his bravery and his fight for justice.